Welcome back everyone, hope you're having an awesome day, and as you can see, fancy new background, I've got my little uh, magic carp up there, uh, best boy, don't at me, and today we're going to be going through, and going through the new event in Avatar Generations, Goro and Juro have joined the battlefield, uh, to, you know, angry spear boy and very nice firebender from the prison rig arc, if you want any of those, they're actually available to summon, powerful opponent as well, it's pretty easy to get. So uh, we'll go through the event itself, we'll go through like what you've got to do for it, how to do stuff, I'll give you tips, don't worry, I'm not going to leave you hanging. Uh, we'll go to the shop, we'll have a look there, see any updates there, there's a couple of cool things in there. And then we'll go to the summon store itself, and the summon store you'll have, uh, we'll go through the kits of Goro and Juro again, just to make sure you know what's going on, and the new relic, and then we'll do some summons. So sit back, relax, make sure to sub, and let's go on to the video. First off, we've got maximum security, the actual event itself. As you can see, we've got some pretty cool stuff here. We've got a new relic, the Illusions of Earth, with our Momo being the best Earthbender there is, with the uh, only for Outlaws. Increased crit rate by 5% for one turn when the caster gains turn bar. Uh, so, you know, pretty good. If you, It's a nice, simple relic for Outlaws if you need to increase your crit rate. Good relic there. Um, you know, may as well pick it up if they're giving it out for free as well. Next, you've got your Burning Coal, the Coal of Freedom. If you, you know, you use this for your event store stuff, you buy stuff in the event store, which we'll go through. Powerful opponent, uh, tickets to summon on the banner that is new. I know that's surprising. Uh, we've got the Chaos Beads, Peace Beads, give you a guess at what the affinity is for Goro and Juro. And then we've got some skip tickets, which is nice. So first off, clear maximum security events challenges. As you do challenges, you'll get progress towards this you get this call and you use it in the summon store pretty standard don't have to go through it again i don't think battle with fire army faction heroes so this is all activity battles it's going to be your training grounds pirates domain and element quests uh if you do those with fire army faction heroes this can be like your spear soldier mounted soldier mass soldier uh now i'm blanking commander Zhao. i think agni kai Zhao is also a fire army and masaru there's probably another one I'm missing, but they're all Fire Army factions, so pretty much, you know, members of the Fire Army. Uh, so if you have those, really cool. Get some uh, powerful opponent tickets and some Chaos Speeds, which is nice. Looks like looks like 70, so you've got to do 70 of those. So a bit of a grind, but you'll get there eventually, I believe in you. And then we've got the Battle with Soldier Faction Heroes. So Soldiers... Oh, that reminds me. Goro and Juro are Fire Army. And Goro and Juro are also soldiers. So usually when they bring an event out, the characters that are in the banner, they are good for this kind of stuff. So if you have either of those, very good here. Otherwise, uh, anyone with soldier in the name, so Spear Soldier, Mars Soldier, uh, Amashu Soldier, and Earth Kingdom Soldier, all four of those are soldiers. And also Kyoshi Warriors, just your basic ones. Uh, Soccer and Suki aren't, but your offense, mind, and defense ones are. So I'm... You, you know, if you're, you're going to have at least two of those, which is Mars Soldier. No, you have three. Mars Soldier, Earth Kingdom Soldier, and Koshi Warrior Mind. You'll have all three of those. You can do the Soldier Faction here. Uh, that'll give you some peace speeds. I don't know if I said that. Upgrade Fire Element Heroes. So, got to get him to level 30. You're like, leveling up three times. It's basically just give him a level. That's upgrade. Ascend a Fire Element Hero. Uh, that'll, you know, I've got to send him to get him higher levels anyway. And then you know, send him to Chakra 4. So basically, if you get a fire hero, I send him to Chakra 4, you're going to get all three of these rewards just maxed out, done already. For some arena tickets, which is nice. And same for special element heroes, anyone who's a special element. Same thing, get him to Chakra 4, basically. You get a nice stock of arena tickets. Grant immunity to self or allies in battle. So immunity is you become basically immune to any negative effects. Characters that can do this. Uh, there's two, uh, two ways you can do this. Firstly, characters, which is going to be Zhong Zhong. When he does his big spin and goes into vanish state, he'll gain another ability called Meditate. When he meditates, he'll give himself immunity. Nice, easy, base kit, done. Secondly, you've got the uh, Defiant Katara, which is the one in the summon store. If you have her unlocked, I wouldn't recommend getting her just for this. If you have her unlocked, when she goes into her Defiant stance, she'll give herself immunity as well. Uh, base kit, again, not too bad. Thirdly, a Marshu Soldier, which is good because you need soldiers for this. Uh, when he does his advanced skill, he gives immunity to all allies. So that's four immunities every time he uses his advanced skill, which isn't too bad. And then lastly, your defense Kyoshi Warrior. When, I think it's Mastery 2, I want to say. It's like the second one. Mastery 3, then. Mastery 3. 
when she goes into a counter stance, she'll give herself immunity, which is, uh, you know, if you have her unlocked and you have that uh, mastery on her, not too bad. Otherwise, if you don't have any of those units and you're like, that's too hard for me, if you have the immunity set, ironically, uh, which is like the cyan set, the base set, that'll give you immunity at the start of battle. You only need two of those for that. And then the same for any frozen legacy art sets you have, that will give you immunity at the start of battle. So basically, if you have a... Uh, you just need eight arts of either the immunity or frozen legacy and you'll get immunity at the start of battle four times every battle bit of a grind but you'll get there in the end so a bit of a really big explanation there but that's that one there inflict special element on enemies in battle uh again there's a couple ways to do this firstly arena soccer uh the one from the arena store when he does his advanced skill he will inflict special damage that'll inflict a special element on the enemy uh, if you have Blue Spirit, I think it's Mastery, I think it's Mastery 3 actually again, uh, he has a high chance to, when he does his big spin attack and go into Vanish state, he will inflict special damage. If you have Goro, he does special damage on both of his abilities. If you have none of those, if you call an assist or do an ultimate with any special element units, uh, you have a chance to inflict a special element on them. So, uh, bump up that accuracy and get, uh, smashing. <laughs> um, spend powerful opponent tickets. Basically, you know, spend on the banner. You're going to get some skip tickets, which isn't too bad. Just skip some events. And then earn some food and earn relic brushes, uh, lychee nuts, and just normal normal quality relic brushes. Uh, I just tested something quickly. If you want a quick way to get this, if you go to your shop and you go to adventure, go all the way to the... Well, not to the end, but you got here relic brushes and that. If you buy these, they will give you... 10 common relic brushes and 10 lychee nuts three a week so you get 30 if you do that and then we go back to the event scroll all the way down and you see 20 so if you have those still that's why i usually don't buy them until the event comes out because if they have anything like this you can just buy them and kind of cheese it uh it's out for two weeks so that's one of these already so you just need, need to get the other uh whatever 240 of each of them on your own but you should be able to do that pretty easy Alrighty, pretty nice and easy. You got your Boundless Journey as well, do other stuff, and then your Seasonal Challenge. Let's go to the shop, shall we? So we've got the Maximum Security Shop here. Illusions of Earth, we already went through this already. Uh, but you can buy some copies here, six of them. So six copies, you're going to get this uh, this fully maxed out. See what it's like. Uh, 300 Nature Stones, that's not too bad for some uh, one coal, which isn't too bad. Gets you a couple of summons there. Uh, 120 energy, I'll probably say this until I really need it, but if you need energy, not too bad. Peace and Chaos tickets, it is... Actually, it's not a Peace and Chaos banner. Uh, you can use this for getting your Zhao and Yue. If you need uh, need any copies of those, that's there. Fire Army Talisman, uh, I would assume these are for these two units here. I feel like... I mean, either of them could be it. I reckon Spirit, this one's probably Goro, uh, Goro's. And the Fire Lord statue is probably for Juro. And then you can also get these little tokens. I assume these are the same as with the Spirit's Call ones. Where you, if you get a copy of these units, you'll get one of those tokens. So then you can use them. So maybe when you get to Pity, you only get one of these units. Be interested in the C. But if you get two, you can buy copies and that. So it's not too bad. We'll have to find out, obviously. Uh, in terms of other stuff, you've got your standard, like, oh yeah, get a Goro Juro up. Great bundle up to you. I'm not your dad. Uh, other than that... Oh, here we go. This is cool. Fire Nation Messenger Hawk. Increases the speed of Fire Element Heroes by 10%. Uh, obviously, goes up if you don't have that. And your Fire Nation Mask Soldier. We did get a buff with him in the latest update. I haven't tested him, but he did get basically double uh, damage on his basic. So I wonder, if, uh, I wonder how that goes, but that'll have to be something I'll have to look into. Uh, but if you want either of those, they're there. And that's about it. Alrighty, we've done the store, we've done the event, and now it's time to have a look at the summon itself. Uh, maximum security. Look at that. Beautiful. Love it. I actually really like Goro. I like, I just, I'm a big spear guy, so I love that kind of stuff. Let's see, we've already got 30 tickets saved up, which isn't too bad there. So we've got that, and Bonded Echoes. Just quick squeeze through here. I have this uncanny ability of noticing that there's nothing new in there. That's just whatever. Alrighty, so we'll just go top to bottom. If you want, again, I, I should have said this at the start, but timestamps down below if you want to skip. You're like, I know what Goro and Juro and all that does. I just want to see the summons and to see you fail and skip to that if you like. But first off, 
Jayla Goro. Chaos, special unit, fire nation, fire army, soldier. So very good for the event right now. And aim timeline. Basic attack. Oops. Hostile assertion. Deals special damage to one enemy based on the caster's speed. I assume that's basically just swift special damage. Reduce skill cooldowns by one if volatile stance is active. Oh, how do we get to volatile stance? Well, quite easily. Advanced skill. Battering blows. Deal three hits of swift damage to all enemies, which is pretty good, actually. Inflict a special debuff on each enemy that does not have a special debuff. Enter a volatile stance for one turn. Volatile stance will increase his speed by 20%. 50% chance to remove all elemental effects from all allies, which is actually kind of not so. And a 35% chance to counterattack when attacked. So it looks like you start off with the battering blows, smack out some special element on everyone, and then if anyone hits you, you hit them back twice as hard. And then blood for blood passive, gain increased crit damage for one turn when entering a volatile stance, so it does a little bit extra damage, not too bad. Reduce damage taken by 50% if the caster is in either sideline slot, which is a nice little mechanic there. So you've got to put him in either the cooldown or the regen slot. He will uh, take reduced damage. And then counterattack when Juro is attacked if he is on the caster's team once per turn. So if you hit his brother, he's going to hit you back. So pretty cool, very no, I like the idea of him. He's kind of like a... Got kind of like a tanky aspect to him. Uh, tanky Spearboy, that's absolutely for me. And then we've got Jailer Juro. Uh, Peace, Fire Elements, he's the Firebender. Fire Army, Fire Na sorry, Fire Nation, Fire Army, Soldier, and Timeline. Basic Ability, Light the Way. Deals Firebending damage to one enemy based on the caster's max health. So it looks like you want to build him with a lot of health. 50% chance to grant a random defensive buff to the ally with the highest speed for one turn. More likely, it's probably going to be Goro, but if you have you know, Mind Aang or any high speed units, not too bad there. Contingency Plan, his advanced skill. Heal each ally for 10% of their max health, not too bad. Enter a Contingent Stance for two turns. Instantly gain an extra turn. Now, Contingent Stance, uh, this is a little weird, but increases max health of each ally by 50%, which is not so. Prevent Goro from dying. My goodness. And heal each ally for 25% of their max health if he is on the caster's team. Afterwards, this stance is removed. So now that I've read it a couple times, I think what it actually is is that he'll go into that stance for two turns. If Goro gets hit and he gets knocked out, he'll prevent him from dying. Heal each ally for 25% of their max health. And then, then the stance is removed. Not, it just gets removed if Goro's on the team. Uh, which is how I thought it originally went. So that's how I think that works. And then Composed Reprisal, immune to negative states, which is very nice, so he can't be stunned, can't be knocked down, all that kind of stuff. Reduce damage taken by 50% for two turns if the caster is in either sideline slot. So instead of it being 50% flat, it is just 50% if he's in either sideline slot, uh, same as Goro. Reduce skill cooldowns by two when Goro is attacked if he's on the caster's team. So... It's kind of funny you put them both on the team. If you hit Juro, Goro's going to hit you back. If you hit Goro, Juro's going to keep bringing down his uh, cooldowns and then throw on his contingency plan. Very nice, very cool, not going to lie. And then we've got the Bonded Echoes Relic, usable by Soldier Units. Heal for 25% of max health when at 25% or health or below, I would assume. Uh, so once you get knocked down, it's going to heal you up, which is nice. Increase damage of all Soldier Allies by 2% for one turn. When the caster attacks. Interesting. I want to see how this works on Kershi Warriors. Because they have counter attacks. That's actually a very interesting relic right there. I want to give that a shot. Alrighty. You've sat there diligently. We've got 30 tickets. Uh, guarantee is 10. So we're going to get 3 guarantees here. Let's see. Actually, let's do... A, since I have 31. Let's do 1 and see if I get a sunset. All right, that would have been really funny if I got a sunset. All righty, we got three more summons. Let's go. We're going to get, I uh, hopefully get one copy of each, and then I'll be happy with that. Uh, we don't need to play it. We know what's coming now. Got Bonded Echoes, nice. And we got Juro, nice. Excellent, big tanky boy. Uh, lots of health there. A uh, couple of four-star relics, which isn't too bad there. And did I get anything else? I've got some Agni Kai Zuko. It's two Zuko shards, funnily enough. Full Firebender. And as you see, we got one of those special... I didn't even look at the coins, but we got another... Let's have another look anyway, hey? Bonded Echoes. Maybe we get Goro? Alright, we got Juro. That's fine. I'll take it. 
I'll take it. It's fine. And yeah, we got a Juro coin. And then this one, maximum security summon coin. You can use that in the event store. So worst case, I can use this to summon on a Goro and unlock Goro. So then I'll have both of them. But why do that when we can just spend 10 more tickets and get the win, boys? Bonded Echoes. Oh my god, I got Juro again. Really? Wow, I'm just going to max out Juro. Okay, cool. That's fine. Alrighty. Not too bad. We'll have a quick look. Uh, we can actually look at their masteries as well. Because uh, I am going to just go buy a Goro uh, copy. Because why not? Uh, events. And then we just go here. We got two. We got three of these coins. We'll do that. Simple. Done. Now we have both units unlocked. Nice and easy. So what we'll do is we'll have a look at their... Uh, we'll have a quick look at their... Stop talking. At their stuff. Uh, apparently I was looking at special units at some point. Oh yeah, I was checking out the soldier stuff. Alrighty, so this is your Goro. Let's have a look, find his mastery. What are we mastering? His passive skill. So increase crit damage when you go into volatile sense, blah, blah, blah. Mastery level two. Permanently decrease resistance on enemies by 5% after the caster attacks. Up to five times. That's not too bad. So make sure you get those debuffs on the enemy. Not too bad there. Mastery level 3. Remove defensive buffs from attacking enemies whenever the caster's team is attacked while in a volatile stance. Okay, so if they hit you and they have like defense up or something like that, you're just going to remove them, remove that off them whenever they hit Goro. Oh no, whenever the caster's team is attacked. So whenever anyone gets hit, you're going to remove any defensive buffs. So then that way when you attack, you're going to make sure that you punch through, do as much damage as possible. Not too bad. And then mastery level 4. Enter a volatile stance for one turn whenever an enemy gains immunity, skill nullifier, or invincibility. Okay. So, skill nullifier. Characters like Yue. Uh, she has skill nullifier on her thing. Um, Agni Kaizuko can give it to himself, but I don't think a lot of people use him. Uh, invincibility. You got, like, tribute to the Avatar. Immunity. There's not really a lot there, but, you know, immunity, that's kind of cool. Just goes into a volatile stance. So if you see people running resistance sets or anything in the arena, just start off in a volatile stance, get that extra damage. Uh, it won't be too bad. All right, not too bad. I reckon uh, Master Level 3 is definitely one to go for. Uh, getting Removing those defensive buffs so that when you attack them, if they have defense up, it won't matter, you know? Yoshi always wants to come in and say something, doesn't she? And then we've got uh, Juro Mastery on his one as well. Uh, so I'm into negative states, blah, 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 blah. Incre so Mastery Level 2. Increase damage dealt by 15% for one turn whenever the caster is healed. Okay. Did you see Plan or Heal him? So that's pretty cool. Probably put him in the Regen slot because that's just going to keep spamming up his damage, right? That would make sense to me. Mastery Level 3. Increase... Uh. Grant increased defense to self and the ally with the high speed for two turns whenever the caster is healed. A lot of healing stuff going on. So if he's in the healing slot, get, give defense up to himself and more likely Goro or Angle or whoever you have that has the highest speed. Mastery at level four. Reduce skill cooldown by one whenever the caster is healed. Wow. Uh, yeah, a lot of healing stuff going on. I would say definitely... Honestly, mastery, this is the first time I'm going to say it. You want to get Mastery 4 on him as like just to make him just a force to be reckoned with. My goodness. Mastery level 2 would be nice. Just increasing damage dealt. Does damage based on max health. Uh, so build him tanky and you should be right. And then skill. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, let's upgrade him and see what our bonuses give us. Hey? But we did get two copies at least. So that wasn't too bad. A little bit of extra damage. No effect chance. That's a little unfortunate, but oh well. What can you do, hey? Alrighty. We've done our... Yeah, that's it. Thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, all that YouTube and stuff. And I will probably level up my boys. And uh, what's... To Thursday. Yeah, Thursday I could probably do... Might do some streaming, do some arena testing with them. Depending on how far I get through the event, you know. Uh, but other than that, catch you all. I'll see you in the next one.